Hi, today I will tell you the three most important things I have learned from the self-made billionaire Üsnü Üzeyin. Üsnü is the wealthiest self-made billionaire in Turkey. He owns over 80 companies in 12 countries. And he is also one of the greatest philanthropists in Turkey. I remember several years ago, I came to Istanbul to interview Özne Yüzeyin. He was one of my first billionaires I have interviewed. And I remember talking to a taxi driver when uh, going to Özne's uh, office. And I asked the taxi driver who he thinks is uh, the wealthiest uh, person in uh, Istanbul. Since Özne is the wealthiest in Turkey, he is also in Istanbul, but I didn't tell that to the driver. And uh, the driver was telling me some names of some football players, because this is what the, uh, so to say, average person understands under wealthy people, like taxi drivers, uh, actors, or maybe uh, TV stars, so celebrities generally. And this was funny for me, because these people work for much wealthier people who are billionaires, right? And uh, I've been talking about that topic in another video. I will link it here and also in the description. So have a look in that video. But today I want to tell you three things I have learned from uh, Özne Yüzeyin. Of course, I have learned much more. You will find it in my upcoming book, The Billion Dollar Secret. But I will give you these three today. The first thing, he reads a lot of books and he gets inspired by really great people and uh, when I mean great people it is like the seizures and so on and you need to realize this guy built 80 companies in his life and in 12 countries for example uh, his companies in Russia are huge he owns one of the largest bank chains in uh, in Europe and so on and so on. This guy has founded a university, his own university, many schools, dormitories, and so on and so on. And this guy says, you know, I accomplished so little in my career because I am taking example from uh, the Sultan of Ottoman Empire. He was able in uh, 18th century to command armies of hundreds of thousands of people and with all the logistics in that, uh, in that era, right? To organize all the empire and all the uh, infrastructure he was building. This is just amazing. And also his main architect, who was able during one lifespan to build 500 mosques and prayer houses, which is just amazing. One lifespan, 500 mosques and prayer houses. And he says also in my philanthropic activities, I take example from the greatest philanthropists of our times, like from Rockefeller, who uh, in the beginning of 12th century, he was building schools for blacks in the south of the United States. So Uznio took example of him and build schools from disadvantaged girls in the south of Turkey. And also he takes uh, examples from other uh, great philanthropists in the history of mankind, like JP Morgan and uh, Andrew Carnegie, with all that these people have accomplished. So he has established a university. Can you imagine you found a, your own university where he has educated 10,000 of uh, students already. So first lesson, read biographies of people who accomplished a lot, of people you want to take example of and read their biographies, learn about their lives, what they did and how they did it, what they did. The second lesson is take a leap of faith, take a chance. Sometimes in life you just have to take a chance to take the risk of failing and to take this brave step and tr just try to, to do it. If you are successful, if you manage to do that, it will become a great success. If not, well, you have tried. Uh, Uznio was a uh, president of student body at his university at that time in Oregon. And he read in some newspaper that Robert Kennedy is coming to Oregon. So he wrote a letter to Robert Kennedy 
uh, he was brother of the president J.F. Kennedy, and Uzu just wrote him up and invited him to his university, stating, you know, I've read you are in the vicinity, you are in, uh, in Oregon, why don't you come by and uh, give a speech in our university, we, we, you are welcome to our university, we would be so proud, and so on and so on. And guess what? He actually did. So, Uznio has a picture with uh, president's brother, and he was like the president of the student body, so he was welcoming and taking care uh, of Robert Kennedy and, uh, you know, taking stage with him and speaking to him, with him. And then uh, he had uh, this great, maybe not connection, but a great reference that allowed him later to get into Harvard Business School without any uh, job experience and with actually bad grades. He was surprised that he got uh, accepted, but he got this can-do attitude and he had this reference of Robert Kennedy on stage with him and acquiring um, Robert Kennedy as a speaker uh, when he was president of the student body. So he took this leap of, uh, of faith, he took this chance and just tried and he was successful. And there are many examples in his life when he was taking this uh, leap of faith. But I will tell you another story when uh, he became general manager of one of the banks in Turkey because his friends was the owner of this bank and um, he had trust in Uznio and he gave him a general manager job for this bank. And after many years in that bank, he made that bank profitable. He spent many years in that bank and uh, make it a big success, grew the bank and so on and so on. But he always had this uh, feeling, you know, I'm not working for myself. I have a very good salary. I have bonuses, whatever, but I don't have any equity. It is not actually my bank at all. So he went to his friend and uh, said, you know, I would like to work for myself. So give me at least an option or a possibility to buy 1% of the shares of this bank. So I will know I am a partial owner, I am a shareholder of the bank, and uh, this will uh, give me more motivation, uh, more self-esteem and so on and so on. And this friend said, no, I can't do this. If I do it with you, you know, the general managers of other companies will come over and want also shares in, in their companies. So he said, I can't do it. So what Özniu did was he sold his houses, he put together his savings, he acquired some investors and he took a huge loan in order to establish a bank. And guess what? So he invested eight million dollars into the bank. Four million was uh, his money. And guess what? After, I guess, 18 years, he was able to sell this bank for $3.7 billion. This was the largest company sale in the history of Turkey. And this sale made him a billionaire. And since then, he has been taken this leap of faith many, many times. And it made him so successful in his life. But all that success wouldn't be possible without the third thing that I learned from him. And this is the diligence being diligent in what you do. And Uznio was always very diligent in everything he, he did. When people had vacation during their studies, he took not only one job, he took two jobs at the same time. So he was a janitor during uh, the day and in the evening he was a busboy. A busboy is, a, so to say, a less qualified waiter, right? Busboy's function was to clean the table, to cover the table, to bring water and salad for, uh, for the guest. And that's it. And he wasn't allowed any tips. So two jobs simultaneously during the vacation time. And when he was uh, in semester, during the semester, he took over the uh, university's pizzeria at some dorm. And it was a business that was aware that you should, you would apply and they would choose one 
student from uh, uh, from the applicants to run the business so his predecessor earned a, in a year one and a half thousand dollars but keep in mind i think this is like the 60s or the 70s so you need to multiply it time i guess 15 in order to get our dollars right now right so in a year his predecessor earned one and a half thousand dollars it would be like over twenty thousand dollars a year running that business and he had eight employees and when Uznu took over he was working like a horse he was working i guess six days a week he didn't have eight employees he had only three employees and even uh, you know swiping the floors and cleaning he did it himself because he wanted to save the money for the cleaning person and of course he you know uh, brought some improvements to the business and so on and so on and at the end of the year he was able to earn eight thousand dollars in this one year so it's like one hundred twenty thousand dollars in today's money for a student it was a lot of money so he was able to earn five times as much as, as his predecessor because he was so diligent. So these are the things I have learned from uh, this New Zealand. Of course, I have learned many other things that I describe in my upcoming book, The Billion Dollar Secret. You can uh, get a free chapter of that book. I will connect it here and uh, in the links below. I see you like this video. Give me a thumb up, subscribe. Uh, below and don't forget to hit the bell button in order not to miss my other videos. I invite you to leave a comment on that topic. What is your perspective? What are your, your thoughts? What is your experience? Share this video with your loved ones, with your friends. They will thank you for that. And I invite you to share this video on your social media, on Twitter, on Facebook with a quote from this video or with your comment. And please add, add a hashtag, the billion dollar secret. So hash the billion dollar secret so we can find you and for the best share with the most creative share, the most effective share, I will give away a copy of the book I have co-authored with Brian Tracy. It looks like that. Brian Tracy is the best business teacher, the best personal performance trainer in the world. Uh, I will give you a copy of that special edition with my personal signature, with my personal dedication. If you like this video, you will probably like my other videos. I invite you to watch them. Here you will find some of my uh, best videos. That's it for today from Black Forest. I wish you a fantastic day. Let's do something extraordinary today.